Hi, I'm Lisa Lockhart, and I'd like to show you a few things about finishing a barrel correctly and some things to work on if you feel like your horse is not finishing a barrel correctly. First and foremost, I think position is crucial. If you set your horse up for success and your approach and you give your horse ample amount of room, I feel like once they get to this position, the rest is very easy for them. Um, they're spiraling down and they can finish the barrel tightly. And at this point in time, after you've helped your horse finish the barrel, in the go position, off to the next barrel. For example, if you don't give your horse the ample amount of room coming into the barrel and they start their turn too soon, you don't get them up into the hole far enough, I feel like if they start their horse too soon, you're taking away some of your pocket, okay? And if you're taking away your pocket, they're gonna have to take the room somewhere. So oftentimes they end up taking the room here which sets you up for being out of position, leaving the barrel. And at this point in time, when you feel like you're away from the barrel too far, our first instinct is to pull on them, which oftentimes leads us to keep our horse kept in their face too long. And it just exemplifies a problem to where sometimes they just make a big loop going to the next barrel. So I think if you have your position proper coming in and be able to release your horse at the correct time, Giving them room coming in, a little bit of room on the back side, what allows you to finish it tighter, keep in there, and at this point in time, then you can release them to go forward. Keeping in mind, if they have finished it correctly and tightly, not to keep them too long, because this will, if you keep your horse in a position kept too long, they'll step off. I'll try to demonstrate that if I can. If I was, he, even though he's finishing it tightly, he's going to either over finish it or just keep stepping off, okay? So at that point in time, he needs to be looking to the next barrel also, okay? I do not need to keep his face too long, okay? We both need to have our eyes on the road where we're going to go next. Straighten your horse back out. And if that means bringing your outside hand up, and your outside rein, using a little outside foot, that would be great. And to keep your position coming into the barrel, to make sure that your horse has ample amount of room, if you feel like you're starting to cut your turn off, a little more inside rein, more inside foot, to open up that rib cage, keep them round, okay? Then if you have to correct them, if you have a horse that has a tendency to step off the back side of the barrel, use some outside foot and outside rein to teach them to start straightening up. Um, at this point in time, when they're getting on the back side of the barrel, they need to start straightening that rib cage up just a little bit. You don't need to do it too soon, but at some point in time, they need to be in a straight line and not to keep themselves overbent at this point in time or where they're going to feel like their body's going to move sideways away from the barrel.